Hey, True Believers England team here with another batch of new comic book reviews. Once again, going through all of the future states stuck on Justice League this time. And uh, I also have an independent comic book in the name of Unkindness of Ravens, book two. And uh, what is the Marvel this time around? Oh, I don't know. We'll get to it when we do. Anyway, sit back, relax, and let's get this party started. All right, now, to be fair, uh, we did go over this in our previews and all that kind of stuff, and we heard about the new, basically it's a Benetton ad version of the uh, Justice League. Everybody represents something from some uh, demographic or something at this point in time, and it seems like that was the main focus of all of the advertising. Hey, look, there's a black Batman now. There's a black Green Lantern. There's a, a Amazonian Wonder Woman or Wonder Woman from the Amazon. And is Flash gay or something like that? Not by this story. <coughs> Excuse me. Not by this story. Uh, I'm serious. There is an Aqua Girl right here. You can see her standing next to the the in the water. And the Flash is flirting big time with her in this. Now, of course, you could say, oh, it's gender fluid. So maybe down the line, we're going to do something. But really, I'm telling you, by the ads and everything like that, it sounds like they were like, oh my gosh, we've got two white guys here. What are we going to do? Well, gay people aren't represented. Okay, he's gay. Uh, so they just announced it because they felt like that was what they needed to push instead of this story. And by doing that, I think they did this book a disservice. As you could tell, as the pages are going by here, this book looks awesome. And it, it I mean, it's, I've said this many times, and I'll probably say this again as we go, but the art is great in these future state books. It really is. These books look really good. I always say the future state of DC Comics right now, you know, or, or I say that is, is the thumbnails. The future state of DC Comics is great art. Thank freaking goodness. Let Marvel have that Steven Universe BS over there. Now, this, let's get to the story here. Holy crap, that's entertaining too. Oh, by the way, this is the page where they're, they're like flirting and everything. I like this. This was, uh, there's, there's a mystery. Somebody killed the Legion of Doom, the current version. They're going through it. And as they believe that uh, they've got everything settled... All of a sudden, everything they thought they knew starts to come apart. And they're being attacked by, well, each other, basically. And so you've got yet another mystery on your hands. Granted, by the end of the book, you find out what it's all about, and I'm not going to spoil it here. But it really does world build, character build, and set up for the next issue. Everything a comic book should do. And it does it very well. Very, very well. So, okay, there's two books, though. And you do get, in this Justice League, two full stories. This is the Justice League Dark. And I got to tell you, I'm a big fan of Justice League Dark. I think this is... It, it is a $6.99 book here, isn't it? Yeah, it's $6.99 book. I got the cardstock cover. Um, so, the thing is, you get two books in it. So, really, you're only paying $3.50 because this is a 20-something page story. So is the uh, original Justice League. I'm a huge fan of Justice League Dark. And I think this is a way of saying, well, if you want your regular Justice League, you're going to have to accept this. Only, holy crap, look at that. The uh, the Detective Chimp is, is Etrigan now. So I'm like, okay, there is backstory here, man, that we need to find out. Uh, so it's basically, you know, okay, the world's going to end and everything's dark. We need to go visit all of our friends. They end up going see R Rory Regan. The uh, demon gives him um, uh, an amulet of some sorts, which actually animates the rags and uh, apparently gives it a soul that you don't want to give it. <laughs> uh, so I was, I was very happy to see the Ragman. I'm, I'm a big fan of Ragman. But it's got all the uh, all the Just League Dark characters are here. They're just changed just a little bit here or there. And I kind of dig that. And we find out that they're here because they have to protect this old man. Now, basically, there's action scenes like this one and so forth. But um, in all honesty, except for one towards the end right here, it's um, it really is all to set up the characters so we care about them as we go forward. One thing I would like to say about the future state, it seems there's a lot of, oh, this guy took over our city or, or this guy took over our world. So I'm hoping that these are in different universes. 
Because otherwise, it's a big mess with like there being despots in every corner of the globe or something like that. I don't know if they coordinated their stories as they were writing them down and going, well, I've got this despot over here. I've got this despot, despot, despot. You get a despot. You get a despot. Um, overall, though, I'm very excited to read book two. I am so happy I got to read this one. I'm so happy that it didn't suck. The Unkindness of Ravens book. You know, I just found out this is based on like a young adult novel. <laughs> I did not know that. So I picked up the first issue and I was like, uh, I don't know if I want this. But uh, someone at the comic shop recommended it to me. And I, usually if you tell me it's a book about teenage girls, I could write it myself. Blah, 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 blah. Here's the uh, far leftist political point of view. Okay, everybody who doesn't agree is very bad. Life story. Let's go get coffee. All right, 22 pages. We're done. On to the next uh, book where we may get a plot. Unfortunately, well, or fortunately, I didn't get that in the first issue. It was a really well-told story about a girl who came to a town uh, where somebody recently died that looked just like her, and she gets recruited by wit witches. And we actually see a little bit of this right here as they have her out, and they, they do perform uh, a bit of a spell while she wakes up. Now she's got to go uh, out and about in her high school life as these witches are, are saying, well, you're part of our coven. And she's, of course, trying to establish herself as an individual. You know, she doesn't want to be a part of anything, and uh, they're sort of a, a bit more of a uh, villainous look to the girls in the second issue than there was in the first. Uh, I, I have a feeling, and I've never read the story, so if you have, you know better than I. But I, I don't know. With the whole thing, the, the father bringing him in, somebody did it on purpose. Somebody did it on purpose. Now, at this point, they're on issue number four. I am so behind on my on my books right here. That's why you're getting old reviews. Uh, and and I have a feeling that the dad was brought in with the daughter for, for some other purpose. I got to tell you, the, the characters are well written. I'm glad they pay attention to that. It's If this is an adaption of the book, I got to tell you it's a good one because it seems to leave no stone unturned. And it definitely wants you to care for the person and, and the, the, the people that you're reading about. So I'm, I'm very happy it does pay attention to, at least a little bit to the characters. Shang-Chi, number four. So I've got a confession to make. I've been telling you that I really, I, I do like this story. Um, I think it's I think it's written okay. Uh, Jean Lun Yang, yeah, I, I got to tell you, um, I'm, I'm kind of, I, I guess I'm sort of lying. Um, I, I, I don't mean to be. Because I do enjoy most of this story, but occasionally they do these flashbacks and everything, and they try to tie it into the modern day stuff. I'm not a huge fan of that. So while I do enjoy the books overall, this book does have flaws. Finally, though, they kind of brought it together to the point where it's like, oh, okay, this is what's going on. They meet this monster here that you see on the screen in front of you. And they're fighting. They were like, hey, we got to hold this up for Brother Hand when they mean Shang-Chi. And he's going through this cave and it's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be, la I'm going to kill this freaking bird. And he goes and he meets up with uh, an uncle of his and he has a conversation. He's been having a conversation with his dead uncle quite a bit. And you find out what actually happened between Shang-Chi's father and, and, and his uncle. I don't want to go into too much of it. I actually like this part of it. Uh, but the thing is, is this is the only part that's made sense all throughout as the, uh, we find out that the uncle had to absorb Shang-Chi's father in order to gain his power to beat, uh, a, a spawn of Dormammu. Overall, it's a great story. I, I, I'm still holding to that. This is probably the weaker issue. I'm hoping it gets its strength back in issue number five. Uh, obviously, on a five, I, well, I don't know if this is an ongoing. I just assumed it was like a five or six issue series. That's all Marvel is these days. But anyway, I, I can't recommend a, a book four, but I at least can recommend the story as a whole. But at this point, I'm doing it cautiously. And as usual, I do like to wrap it up, and I will put them in order from worst to best. And you can tell by the by the reviews I made, Shang-Chi, it's a mess. This issue was a mess. I wish it was better. Uh, there were things I liked. There are definitely things I didn't like. Uh, Unkindness of Ravens. 
I, I like the story. I'm, I'm still going with it. It is a bit of a slice of life, this issue, much more so than the first. And then I got to go with the, the Justice League dark part of Justice League. Excellent story. Loved it. I really did. However, I did enjoy the regular Justice League part just a bit better than the uh, Justice League Dark. And I'm glad that they didn't let the diverse cast that they were shoving down our throats as far as the press is concerned overwhelm the actual story. They weren't like, hey, I'm Black Batman. Hey, I'm Amazon Wonder Woman, which is all the press did. DC, shut up and just put out good stories. But that's just my opinion. What is yours? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, ring that notification bell if you haven't done it already, making sure all the notifications are set on all so you don't miss anything. Cool things happen around these parts. Now, if you don't mind helping out the channel, go on over to Patreon, Ko-Fi. Links are in the description below. Drop a dollar in the till. Helps keep making videos for you. Help us keep uh, the lights on here at the house as well. I'd like to thank everybody who's already done that and to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.